If you don't know this about me already, at one point in my life, I was a very serious World of Warcraft player. And World of Warcraft was everything to me. My characters were my whole life. All my friends were from World of Warcraft. All that we would ever talk about were raids, items, some patch that Blizzard released and nerf some class or some ability or general theory crafting. And if you're a World of Warcraft or a Starcraft player, you know what I mean. And World of Warcraft was really all that I did in my life. I would just sleep, eat and play. And during this phase, I learned so many valuable lessons that actually helped me reach other goals in my life later on. And I think gaming is underrated when it comes to some of these things. And a lot of people actually bash on gaming and say gaming is a complete waste of time, that gaming is just something like pure entertainment, you just need to turn off your brain, that it doesn't do anything. But actually serious gaming is really, really difficult if you want it to be really good. And everybody who's ever played at a competitive level understands that how much mastery goes into being good at something. And the lessons that you actually will learn from getting good at a game are applicable to almost any other goal in your life. And that's actually what I wanna do a little bit with this video is kind of change some perspectives. Like if you've never played any game seriously, you will understand, hopefully, how much gaming can make a difference and how much you can learn from it. And by the way, if you're new here to this channel, my name is Mario Tomic. Normally what I talk about is fitness, personal development, and how to get leaner, how to live a healthier lifestyle. If you're interested in that and also hear more about my personal story, also consider subscribing below and hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos. And now let's dive into it. So the first thing I learned about success from playing World of Warcraft is that it's not about the destination, it's all about the journey. And no matter what item you win, no matter how much you level up, no matter what is going on, you're gonna go back to the grind. It's really the grind, it's the process. It's making the process enjoyable and doing it daily and really embracing that journey that you get most out of it. What was really enjoyable about World of Warcraft is that progression and that process of getting those rewards from time to time and also the community and being able to actually play with other people with similar interests. And these are actually the things now, when I look back at my fitness journey and my journey as an entrepreneur, that were exactly the same things that I had to have in place. It's to forget about the outcome for a little bit and really try to make the process itself more fun. The process of doing the mundane daily actions that get you successful because you're gonna go to the gym, you're not gonna see any results from one workout. You're gonna eat a healthy salad right now, you're gonna not see any results. Same in the World of Warcraft world as well. Like you're gonna do something, but you're not gonna see results unless there's so much of that compound effect. And unless you really put in the work on a daily basis, you're not gonna really reach any kind of outcome. And even if you do reach that outcome, the happiness you get from the outcome isn't really that strong that's gonna last forever. It's all about the journey that got you there. It's all about those raids, those failures, those things, those small experiences, hanging out with friends in the middle of the night and you know, beating some boss and you, know, you get some kind of job that's really awesome and you're just so it's successful and you go in a raid over and over and over again and try to get something and it's, it's that grind. And that's really what life ultimately teaches you is that in order to be successful, you have to be able to be disciplined with the grind. You have to be able to embrace the process of repetition over time because without this, no matter what goal you set for yourself, you're not gonna get there. There's no quick fix. There's no easy way. There's just nothing you can just magically change overnight that's gonna drastically change your life. Like if you win the lottery, I mean, it's still not gonna make it drastic change your life because we know most people that win the lottery go back to living their previous life. So it's all about the grind and embracing that grind and trying to make the grind more fun and more enjoyable, connecting with people that are going through the same experiences really what made World of Warcraft so fun for me and now what made my other goal so fun for me is the fact that I had a community. It's the fact that there is some progression going on. It's the fact that there is no actual end to it. There's always something you can do. There's always a way you can improve. And I think that's a very valuable lesson overall for all of us is understanding there's just so much more in the process that we gotta celebrate and learn how to enjoy the process instead of just waiting for that final day when you reach your goal weight to be happy you can already start enjoying the process. And in fact, if you're not enjoying the process of grinding, you're not even gonna get to that goal most likely. You're probably gonna fall off. And so many have quit because they just didn't understand the grind. They didn't do their dailies in the game. Like you gotta be able to do those things, like daily things that really contribute to that end result. And that's actually one of the first big lessons that 
that I think made me disciplined enough to eventually become a successful entrepreneur, to eventually transform my body, to improve my relationships, is this understanding that there's just no way around the grind. So you better embrace the grind and really put in your effort and just then allow time to do its thing. And I think this is a very, very important lesson for all of us. Now, the second big lesson about success that I learned from World of Warcraft is the difference between thinking like a pro versus thinking like an amateur. And you will see this when you play any game at a high level and if you play competitively, you'll notice that there are some players, they will improve, but up until a certain point and they're gonna stop improving no matter how long they play versus the other players who are just a smaller percentage and they play it in such a way that they keep improving. And at some point, there's such a big skill gap between the professional, quote unquote, and the amateur player that the amateur player cannot touch the professional. They're just basically from a different planet. This was what I noticed in World of Warcraft. I also noticed this previously in Unreal Tournament. I mean, we were playing at a really high level Euro Cup, clan base, we were just really crushing it. Clan base was actually a platform. I don't think it's no longer active. That was way back in the day. And when we were playing Unreal Tournament, if someone would just start the game or if someone was just not in this professional mindset, we would absolutely crush them. The skill gap was so large that this person, if they were just starting out or if they just were stuck at a certain level, they wouldn't be able to touch you. You would control the map, you would time absolutely everything, all the weapons, all the shields, everything. The person wouldn't have any chance of winning whatsoever. And this is really, what taught me that there are certain people that have this winner and improvement mindset. They're always gonna seek for ways to improve. They're gonna apply what we now know as deliberate practice, where they're gonna keep finding ways to get out of their comfort zone, learn from their mistakes, put themselves in different positions. Like I remember when I was playing World of Warcraft, like we were always going back to the drawing board and researching. If we weren't be able to successful at a certain rate, we would have to go back into the research. We would have to find ways to do it better. And it was all about grinding, research, theory, learning, better leadership, better coordination. You have to get better over time in order to beat that level. And then you have to get even better to beat the next level. And, and that's really what taught me about life in general is that there are certain people that are gonna get stuck at a certain level and without realizing that they don't understand that if they keep repeating the same mistakes, using the same methods and same systems, they're not gonna get any better. So if you get stuck at a certain level, like for example in fitness, you get your newbie gains and you're not making any improvements anymore, keep repeating the same thing and you're never gonna make the next leap. You're never gonna get to that next level. So you have to be changing your approach, finding new ways, getting into the theory, getting really deep. And I, in fitness, I had to do that when I got to my newbie gains phase, got all the initial gains with my knowledge, all I could do with the basic programs, I had to go deeper, I had to go into the science, I had to find mentors, I had to find books, I had to find new systems to do, but otherwise I would never improve. I would have never reached the level that I'm at today if I kept doing the same thing I did in the first year of my training. And every single year since then I was improving because I have this pro mindset. And then you have to have a pro mindset if you really wanna reach a high level in anything because an amateur mindset will get you to a certain level, but it's not gonna get you any further. And a lot of people will get stuck at 20% body fat, 15% body fat, not making any gains in the gym, just keep investing hours and hours and hours. And of course, if that makes you happy, if you're happy with a certain level and, and you're okay with that, that's totally fine. But I've noticed that the professional, it's almost like there's some kind of fire in, in that professional that keeps them driven, that keeps them hungry for improvement. There's this insatiable hunger of getting better. And that's what I noticed in World of Warcraft. The best players had that drive for improvement. And I see that as an entrepreneur right now, like the best entrepreneurs, they're so focused, they're so driven. Like there's nothing you can do. They're so persistent. They're just gonna crush it no matter what. And it's just a matter of time. So this is really what I saw in gaming first. Now I'm seeing it in fitness, I'm seeing it in entrepreneurship in such a powerful lesson. Be a professional and you're gonna go really, really far in your life. Now the third lesson about success that I learned from World of Warcraft from raiding with my guild and my friends is that success is messy. No matter how prepared you are, there's always gonna be some imperfection and that's okay. You can still win even though there's some imperfection, even though there are failures. If you're a DPS class, your tank can hold the aggro and then the boss just one shots you, things like that happen. Someone's internet gets disconnected. Something random happens, like someone's keyboard fails. Like you never can control all the variables and that's okay. 
Success will still happen if you're consistent, if you're improving over time, if you're doing your best. And understanding this really helped me a lot as a perfectionist in my nature. I always thought it was all or nothing. Like I always thought I had to really do it 100% in order to see amazing results. And I was always going back to that black and white, all or nothing thinking. You know, if I can't do this perfectly, I may as well not do it at all. And that's really how you be becoming consistent. And if you wanna be successful, you have to master consistency. And understanding that success is messy it's really helped me in fitness understanding that look, if I can't get my full workout, I'm just gonna go in there for 30 minutes. I'm still gonna get something done. In business, I realized there's so many moving parts that nothing ever goes as you plan. Like some things even go better, some things go worse. Like you can only hope for the best. And that's really the thing that I learned from World of Warcraft during all this stuff is that there's so much luck at play there. And that's actually what makes it interesting. Like you can make all the best decisions and still not get the desired outcome, even though all of your decisions were amazing. And that's something you gotta understand as well. All you can really do is try to make the best decision you can. And then the outcome of those decisions isn't something you can control. And the fact that it is like many people think, you know, if something happened in their life that was a bad outcome, they go back and say, oh, that, was, that decision was bad. Look, maybe you made all the best decisions, but the outcome just wasn't there because life isn't just as predictable. There's always an element of luck. And that's the thing in, in World of Warcraft, that's what makes it interesting. Like you can roll for something and not get it. Like it's just the way things work. And I wanna emphasize here is like, don't be an NPC in your life. Like put yourself out there, take massive action, put yourself in opportunities that you can succeed, expose yourself to situations, get out there, like put yourself out there. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a busy professional, like try to be more assertive and really understand that that's how through doing that action phase, that's when things happen. That's when you're really improving your life. You're just an NPC waiting and just observing. You're not going to get really far in, in your life. And that's something that really my mindset changed completely around because before World of Warcraft and before really I was always this introvert. I was never really putting myself out there. And I learned actually quite a lot about people skills, leadership, all these things from World of Warcraft, from interacting with other players. And I didn't just play World of Warcraft. I mean, I'm a gamer since I was a little kid. I played Wolfenstein 3D. I used like floppy disks for New Duke Nukem 3D. I played Doom. I played all kinds of games. I played Command and Conquer Red Alert 2, like some of those classics like Diablo 2, like all those games are really dear to my heart and I played them and I really got so much out of that. So I wanna emphasize now that you know, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I don't know, like this whole this gaming thing, look, you don't have to get into gaming right now, but you can learn a lot from these lessons and you can really make the most out of your life if you're taking action, if you're applying these principles because they will make you successful in fitness, in business, in whatever area of your life you wanna apply this in. And also, I'm actually gonna leave a video here at the end that actually dives into more of my personal story where I talk about how I overcame my addiction to gaming, which at some point actually was hindering me in my life. So I wanna leave a video about that as well because I think you're gonna find it very interesting. I talked there more about Unreal Tournament and some of the things that I've done there. So definitely check out this video. Other than that, if you wanna work with me as your mentor for fitness and for helping you get in the best shape of your life and really handling this area of your life and becoming healthier and living a healthy, sustainable lifestyle, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where we can check out more details and the results that I get with my clients. So check that out. Other than that, I will see you in that next video.